Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special BT Extra. Uh, over the last couple of days, uh, we've been touring around the Fairmont Bam Springs. Uh, we've been going behind the scenes, uh, and we've also been talking about some of the famous ghost stories from the Fairmont Bam Springs. Uh, and one of the people that have been joining us all week long uh, has been Graham. Shine hey, the light man. on you. Uh, so Graham is director of housekeeping here, and uh, we were kind of walking through some of the hallways yeah. at one point, and I was saying to you, where does all, like, there's some amazing paintings and fixtures, and I said, where yeah. does some of this come from? And you said, uh, follow me, and you brought us to this area. What, where are we? Well, we're in the middle of nowhere. This is actually between floors, and there's a lot of these pathways throughout the hotel. They're basically warrens, and they were used by various executive housekeepers and um, uh, you know engineers to squirrel stuff away. And I've actually plumbed the depth of all of these, and I found <laughs> everything from paintings, furniture. Uh, we found a partial set of armor that we traced back to the very first 1888 hotel that was here. So it's fascinating what you can find. You never know when you go into one of these. So we're in between floors. We're in between floors. That's creepy. That's yeah. creepy. Okay, so you're actually taking us through one. We're just going to see what we can find. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, right there. Yeah. Take a look at that. Talking about kind of creepy stuff. Yeah, so this is one of the Medici's. Um, this is uh, Margarita Medici. And uh, you can see her. There's a couple of renditions of hers throughout the hotel, but she's just got these black eyes that just stare right through you in this that's face creepy. that's just quite polarous. It, yeah. So how old is this painting? 1910. 1910. 1910. Just, I mean, look, it just happens to be here. I guess it's just probably here because the glass is broken. Yeah, it probably is. But you. But this is what I mean is things around here move and shift and you can find something one day, come back the next day and it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Or, or come back a week later and it's come back. Okay. If people at home only knew um, how narrow and tight this is and <laughs> the acrobats that cameraman Nick has to do because you can see all the pipes so we're going to kind of make our way through here and see what else we can find um, I guess there's a lot of steam pipes and things like this it's kind of mechanical yeah. in a sense right yeah this is a mechanical tunnel exactly what it's for uh, but it ends up being more okay yeah. so here yeah lots you have of old porcelain sinks, sinks. You know, here's one of the older ones with the, the three, and this would be a ceramic sink. You tell it's one of the older ones. Yeah. Uh, and we can just keep going. It just goes on forever and ever. Yeah, how far back does this go? Um, oh, wait, va vacuums? This is where vacuums come to die, apparently? Yeah, this is after the, t after the <laughs> millionth uh, bag. This is where vacuums come to die. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was like an old propane heater. Yeah, just do be careful. Yeah, you got to watch your head because these uh, ducts are extremely low. More vacuums, more vacuums, and I have no idea what those are. Oh, so like electrical valves. And you keep wandering <laughs> there through. There you go, boxes, old do. vacuum parts. Yeah. Okay. What else can we find back here? Oh, okay. Fan what what so, is this? Well, these are propellers. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea why we would need a box of propellers, but apparently we propellers. did at some point. Apparently yeah. they were vital, they were key to this hotel. Yeah. Um, okay. They're pro they could be fan propellers for large airflow units. Yeah, could be. Could be. Uh, but there's some also some interesting wrought iron you'll find in here. So there's an old fire grate from one of the oh, wow. rooms. Yeah. Bathtub? Bathtub, yeah. The jetted bathtub. Jet, jetted bathtub. We're now in the 70s. <laughs> Making our way from the 1920s up to the 70s. That's right. Uh, what else? Well, you can this see there's an there's a very very old wrought iron stand here that would probably here. been for one of the fireplaces that used to be in the hotels, and then I think I just saw something interesting. Oh yeah, here's one of the cast iron pieces that would have been in the hotel, and that's probably 80 to 100 years old. Wow! And would have been uh, a wall sconce or something like that on the outside so of the building. Do you continue to explore these just to see what things? Because I guess the deeper you go in, the more things you uncover, right? Yeah, yeah, and uh, the you uh, you know you keep finding new things that move, as I said, back into place. <laughs> um. Okay. Do you know anything about this? Uh, well, apparently <laughs> we're watching you, but. <laughs> Ladies Women's Home's Journal, Journal is watching us. We're watching you. Yes. That, that's creepy. You know, that, that seems to creepy. fit because September 1997. Yeah, it's been here for a while. Um, because, you know, we're talking about ghost stories and behind the scenes, and this kind of ties it together because that's creepy and hidden back here for who knows what reason. And for watching a long, long time. 
Wow. Yeah. Now back back here. Back, okay, back we're here. almost at the end. I don't know if we need to go past this area here. The point here. of no return. Um, but you were saying, I'm assuming this is where you found the armor because... Yeah, this was in the very, very back where the armor was located. So we had to crawl through that little, that little, little area and then pull the four pieces uh, that I found out. But in the very back, you can see some of the very oldest of the uh, lamps that would have been in the Spanish walkway way back in the day. Wow. Yeah. So it's it's a treasure trove. You never know what you'll come across. And the more things you pull out, probably the more things you find. Absolutely. I mean, we even found uh, one of the funniest things I found, um, which is a great story, is we found a solid um, brass and copper um, old fire extinguisher. Now this thing weighs like 60 pounds. So what you would do is you would shake it up because it had caustic sodium. So you're spraying a caustic stuff that if you get it on you, it'll burn you. <laughs> you have to hold the tank upside down while there's a raging fire, turn the valve calmly, and spray the caustic soda make, onto the fire. Make sure it doesn't spray on you. Make sure it doesn't spray on you. Meanwhile, everything's you know smoky and like that. But they turned them into lamps. Okay. They're, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. They actually came from the old CP trains. So they're about 130 years old. We have one in display in Heritage Hall. I found six. Wow. Six of these beautiful um, old style um, fire extinguishers. You just never know what you're going to find. You'll never know. And we should point out too that that suit of armor, um, it actually was worn. It wasn't a replica. That was No, this was a suit of armor that somebody would have. Yeah, it was a legit suit of armor out of Europe. Well, it's been a fascinating the last couple of days here at the Fairmont Bam Springs Hotel. We have to have a big thank you for them uh, putting up with cameraman Nick and I because we have a lot of questions and we wanted to go places where we probably weren't supposed to go, but you guys opened up the door. Absolutely. Uh, doors many. for us. Many locked doors. Uh, so, you know, hopefully you enjoyed the sneak peek behind the scenes of the Fairmont Bam Springs. And remember, we're watching you.